Hey everyone, uh, Justin Ballard here. Uh, we're gonna do our video three of seven. Um, today we're gonna talk about uh, the molecular change in water um, and it's something called chromophore. I probably didn't pronounce that correctly, but I'm gonna turn this on here. This is my electrolysis electrolyzer. And what it's doing is we're breaking down the wash off from some tomatoes that we picked up. Uh, these are organic sweet plum tomatoes and we wash them with the alkaline 11.5 from the congen and we're seeing what the congen actually washed off from the tomatoes and on this side uh, this is the tomatoes being washed off in tap water so we're probably going to see a pretty big difference in color of what's being coming off the tomatoes that you eat and our other experiment we're doing um, is we have some Coca-Cola and we're going to show you how using um, acid water for the congen machine and a little splash of bleach can actually reveal or take away the color from coca-cola it's pretty amazing but i want to introduce greg duke hey greg Hi. jasmine <laughs> Teresa, and christine and of course my wife amy she's the one doing the filming and um <laughs> we're doing this uh these experiments to educate people and show them that there's a lot of things um that we don't see that are hidden so to get the show on the road um here is i'm gonna use my fancy coffee cup Pouring in some acid water. And so we just use just a little bit off the top of the cup. And through motion, it is going through what they call a conformational change. And um, just to kind of break that down, uh, conformational change is you're using a force to change the chromosphere of the water. And what that means is if it's something that would be normally yellow or green or blue, as you see in this water here, you can make it invisible. Um, you can make it something clear um, and odorless. And so if there is a poison or a toxin or a chemical, I don't know if you guys have been uh, watching what's on in the news, but Aaron Brockovich is back. Um, and there's a lot of concerning things that are going on. And it's stuff that we need to be aware. Uh, everybody's suffering now from health problems. And um, it's very eye-opening to see that something so dark, a soda, I'm going to turn this on, can be made so clear. Let's put these next to each other. Now we of course took off the label because I don't want to be calling any names out for what soda, um, but that's really eye-opening because you asked me if I was to add a little bit of uh, um, acid water uh, to my, to my Coca-Cola, I would not think that it would become so clear. Um, makes you almost wonder if you even need um, color in any, any sodas. <laughs> they should be able to make everything clear. Um, all right, so wow, this is really um, eye-opening here as well. So we have the congen, which is washed off the tomatoes here, and then we have the tap water, and it looks like the congen has really stripped a lot of stuff off those tomatoes. We only did about a five-minute soak on each. How are we doing on now, time right now? why is one green and one blue? 317. So the colors represent, um, with the electric current that we're putting it in, it's... Black, it's yeah. Can we get that? Oh yeah, wow, it's that a, is really bubbling. There's a lot of chemicals that are mm -hmm. Now, since this is the runoff from the tomatoes, we're getting a lot of extra stuff that was in there. I actually had to pick out some, some stuff that was still hanging on the tomatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn it off a little bit earlier here because it is running hot. So, so Justin, what exactly does this show? So what this does is it's reversing the chromosphere. So things that were hidden are now becoming revealed. Um, and so by changing the molecular structure, ripping apart the hydrogen and the oxygen, you get to see all the other colors that are in your water. Now, different colors represent different things. And so you have the darker colors, which would be like heavy metals, uh, which could be a good thing like magnesium, but then you get uh, things such as, as brown and orange, and those are gonna be bacteria. These are gonna be uh, different sprays that they're putting on your vegetables. Um, and this is all being stripped off. Come in and check, look at this. Look at right that. Here. These are all yeah. the things that were stripped that, off from so our this tomato. Is, this is coming off of what was on the tomato. That, that's coming off what was on and then, the... And this one was washed in the congen water? That was washed in the congen water for about five minutes. And um, these are the tomatoes from the congen. And then these are the tomatoes that we used just to rinse off the, um, is, the tap water. And this is what was washed in the regular water? Correct. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's crazy how much... Um, 
stuff is being washed off using Kangen water. Um, so it's really showing how the Kangen is cleaning better than the regular water. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So it's, all the pesticides and all the oil that, that are sprayed onto the uh, plants. It does a phenomenal job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in, in fact, I now wash everything that I have um, with the Kangen water. Mm -hmm. It's what incredible. PH? What pH are you using? Uh, so this is the 11.5 pH. So this isn't the level that you want to drink. That's pretty high for um, for alkaline to put in your body, but that is great for washing things. I wash all my potatoes. Um, I don't eat tomatoes myself, <laughs> but um, I see a huge difference in all the produce well, that the I do eat. Well, the 11.5 emulsifies oil, doesn't it? Uh, yes, it does, yeah. And so that's what's happening. It's emulsifying the oil that's being put onto the tomatoes? Yes, vegetables. exactly. Mm -hmm. oh, I see. So okay. yeah, it's, um, it's such a huge benefit to your health not having to um, put all this in your body. I mean, right. I, if you think about 10 years of time of washing your vegetables, that's 10 years of crud that you no longer have to put in your right, body. All the chemicals. Yep. So it's uh, it's quite an eye-opening um, thing to see, especially visually. But mm -hmm. um, we had a lot of questions on it, so I just wanted to show you guys how much stuff we could actually pull off your vegetables. So um, thank you everyone for watching, and uh, stay tuned for our next video. It's going to be four or seven, and we have a lot of other big uh, things we want to show you. But um, I think this right here. It's a pretty big statement that um, you can turn Coca-Cola to. I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty pretty close to clear to me. I mean, it has a little bit of a yellow tint, but that, that I think is just the spot of bleach. <laughs> Otherwise, it is, yeah. it's clear. Yeah, it is um, clear. It's just, yeah, it's really, really eye-opening. Um, all right, thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll s stay tuned for next week. <laughs>